Hey guys, welcome back. This is Tarun again, back with another fitness video. So today I want to talk about uh, cheat meals. You know, and I uh, cheat meal is something that you know uh, I was very afraid of in the past. You know, you know what they say is that you know I think the whole world of internet has really kind of uh, confused all of us, and I was just another guy who was also confused. You know, people never told me the importance of cheat meals you know whenever you you hear the word cheat we tend to feel that you know oh man cheating it's wrong it's negative but cheat meal in fitness is actually a blessing in disguise did you know that that you know having a cheat meal once a week can actually help you get to your fitness goal and and, and your goal could be anything it could be to pack on muscle it could be to lose weight or it could be just general well being it's very important you got to have cheat meals now let me give you an example and and how this whole thing works uh, i'll start with myself you know what I, i always thought that you know for me to get a body of my dreams i need to follow a, a, a diet we just like everyone else thinks like that you know you know if i want a six pack or if i want to be muscular if i want to lose weight there has to be a you know a, a diet which we all need to follow now that's where the biggest mistake lies the moment you think of a word diet or the term diet there is this negative context you know which is that oh diet it's going to be temporary so the moment i start eating a regular food you know uh, uh, again you know the, the 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 weight will come right back so the word diet itself is very negative so but but we don't get it you know we we always feel that you know hey dieting is important you know if you want to get your fitness goal if you if you really try to achieve that goal uh, you got to diet hard agreed but think about it you know if you're a fitness competitor if you're a bodybuilder or if you're an athlete or you're an actor model i can understand all that but if you're just another guy or a woman you know who's just trying to get in shape not for a particular uh, day or a photo shoot does it actually make sense for you to be on a diet all 12 months think about it it doesn't have to be that way you know you got to enjoy food i always tell people that you have to enjoy food you know it's one life that we've been given we got to do everything that we can but yes we got to do it in moderation we have to take help of science which can actually guide us when it comes to planning our meals but hey you know what we don't get it we just feel that you know what we have to get to our goal and we follow extreme measures whether it's starvation or whether it's you know a uh, eating high protein diet or following a keto diet any anything that can get us to a fitness goal without actually thinking the long term repercussions of it you know which is that you know uh, it could leave you high and dry you know uh, it, it gives you so such eating disorders that you know every time you see food you know you have this craving oh i want to have that i want to have this do you know most of the fitness models and bodybuilders and competitors they deprive themselves of such great food obviously there's a reason obviously they're working towards that goal of looking good for that particular competition that once the competition is over all they do for one month is eat so because you know all this while while they were preparing for that competition they couldn't eat so unless your goal is to be like that i understand that you know cheat meal for you will be like a big 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 deal but if you're just another guy or a woman who's just trying to stay lean and trying to stay in shape or pack on some muscle cheat meals are important you got to have cheat meals so what are the things that you should remember uh, while cheating you know first thing that you got to remember is that you know if you're thinking about cheating on pastas or if you're thinking on cheating on uh, you know um uh, things like you know small little burgers here and there that's not cheating that's just you know regular food you know it's just high dense carbs you got to plan your cheat meals let's say for example let's say if you're sitting on a sunday today you know you got to plan your next cheat meal for next sunday and cheat meals if you were to have it have a cheat meal not a cheat day i've seen people going crazy all throughout you know on a sunday or a monday whenever the cheat days and they eat everything they can that's the worst thing you can do that's extreme for example you know there was this person that i was working with and what he would do is you know on his cheat day that i would give him instead of waking so his typical routine was to wake up at 8 o'clock in the morning on on a cheat day he would wake up at 3 or 4 in the morning so that he could eat more because the cheat day is not going to come again in the week so you know he would just go out and eat that's the worst thing you can do have a cheat meal instead and when is i going to cheat meal cheat meal has to be in the afternoon you know when you wake up in the morning you know when you know exactly know that you'll be putting too much of food into your system you can obviously have a lighter breakfast because you already know that the afternoon is going to be uh, a different food altogether so you can plan that ways 
plus you know on that cheat meal you really don't have to control yourself that oh i have to eat in moderation no just let yourself go eat whatever you want to for example if when i have to cheat what i do is i pick up my meals i on one week i say you know what i'm going to have chola bhatura you know and i pick up like 3 4 chola but the chola bhatura for people don't know it it's fried maida backed by some sabzi of chana amazing i, I do I, i do that once and and followed that up by the with the jalebi you know that's my meal that's like 1000 1500 odd calories right there uh, you know a week after that uh, i i have uh, french fries and and two three burgers here and there you know again uh, a, a a kind of a moderate kind of a cheat meal similarly you got to have to have this if you don't there will not be any reward for you to look forward to otherwise then diet will become a torture for you this is so understand cheat meal works as a reward for all of us you know i i i tortured myself you know back in the days you know just to be in that shape but guess what i couldn't keep up with that because i didn't put cheat meals there because cheat meals you know you really look forward to that day you know what i'm going to eat you actually plan you know and makes you feel that wow you know life is worth it just imagine man you eating food you know dry bland food Uh, uh without actually yeah, and and not that that dry bland food is giving you results that that are also not giving you the desired results that you want but still you continuing to do it just hoping hoping that this diet will work and you'll get to results but you will not you have to put that cheat meal you know in on one of the week in the afternoon so that you can reset your metabolism you know what will happen is that you know unless and until you go on this diet forever you know on this diet that you're following it's fine but the moment you start eating regular food regular food like you know like little carbs little fats here and there some cheating here and there what will happen is the weight will come right back plus you'll develop this eating disorder that you know i remember when i went on from a from a clean diet i started indulging here and there i used to get upset stomach you know i used to poop a lot you know uh, i used to get stomach you know stomach cramps and stuff like that because my body wasn't used to it so it's always a good idea to treat yourself with a cheat meal every week it's not going to do you any harm it will only do you good so should you have a cheat meal yes you should and what i'm not going to tell you the recommend the you know the 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 recommendation how you should have the cheat meal the only thing i would tell you in having a cheat meal is just have it in the afternoon instead of in the night man because in the night chances of you burning are a lot lesser in the afternoon you can get away with any damn thing which you want to eat don't deprive yourself of food man i always tell you this and i'm going to say that again and fitness is not just about the end goal it's about the process it's about getting towards that goal so focus on that enjoy it man you know you don't have to torture yourself and punish yourself every day by not eating all this so i hope this uh, 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 clears all the myths about cheat food i would urge all of you to have those cheat meals uh, every every week you know but don't have it more than once you know then obviously it be- it doesn't it's not a cheat meal anymore it's become it can become of a regular diet so have that it's really going to help you So any one of you who have any questions around cheat meals any one of you who wants to start a discussion around it feel free to reach out to me on my Facebook or on my YouTube channel or even on my WhatsApp and I'll be happy to take this discussion forward so until we meet again see you